Hello all, welcome back to the tutorial of C programming for beginners. Hi, this is Sakti Arun, M.Tech student from NIT Patna. I'm technically supporting the missile engineer. In my last lecture video, I have given explanations with the C program for if statement. In this lecture video, I'm going to explain you guys with if else statement. Okay. So this is the uh, example what we uh, uh, worked out in the last uh, lecture video. Uh, so in this statement, say I, uh, I uh, what first of all let me give an exam uh, explanation for what is if else. Uh, basically, uh, when you say if statement, if the condition is true, then whatever inside the body of the statement is executed, right? So in case if the if statement is false, then nothing is executed in this uh, inside this function. So in case if you are uh, if, if 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 you are giving some condition if it is fails else what you have to do like uh, like if i if you have uh, money with uh, 20 rb okay then you say if if i have money with 20 uh, can i go for a restaurant uh, if it is no then else what is the other plan i have then i can go up, go for a tea shop for drinking a tea okay so that's why uh, in that manner we can uh, uh, we can program with uh, if else say if my money is greater than 20 then i can uh, i can go for an uh, i can go to uh, say uh, say um, as a small hotel okay small hotel if my money is greater than 20 okay else if it if my money is less than 20 then i can say then uh, this is our uh, okay so in this printer statement what you have to do is mm, we had we can say that uh, i am eligible to go to i am uh, eligible to go to uh, uh, go to which shop okay let, let me say i am eligible to go to tea shop okay so i am mentioning here like a uh, tea shop okay so uh, so that is in there okay so eligible okay says sorry okay so now i made a modification so what i what i am trying to do here is i i am telling like i have only 15 rupee with me okay so suppose i i don't know what is the money this money suppose i say this money is available in the uh, in my bank i don't know what uh, what was amount present here so i am telling like uh, I, I am running a program to check whether uh, how much amount uh, uh, with the amount whatever available in my bank uh, for which shop I can go okay so what I am telling here if my, if my money is greater than 20 then I can say I can go to a small hotel at least to have some uh, breakfast yes uh, if I don't have uh, to at least 20 rupees then I can say that I can I am eligible to go to tea shop okay so with the assumption that I have some uh, money uh, uh, around uh, some amount for drinking tea okay I, in assumption okay so then this is nothing this, this is a simple example I am giving for understanding so now if I run the program okay yeah so I, it is telling I am eligible to go to tea shop this is because uh, I, I have money only 15 rupee so it, it check the if statement uh, 15 is not greater than 20 so it, it will skip this body function then it will go to else else then I am eligible to go to tea shop okay suppose if, if I say that I have 100 rupee okay then what happens is then it says that um, it says that uh, okay let me run the program and uh, tell you the output okay yes so it says that i can go i can go to small hotel that's because 100 is greater than 20 so the condition is true inside the if, uh, if statement body of the if statement has a, I can, a command that, that i can go to a small hotel okay so that's what uh, displayed here so uh, this, this is a basic explanation for if else when you when you have some conditions in the if statement if it is a for if it is true then whatever inside is printed uh, if it is a false then whatever inside the if statement is uh, else statement is printed okay so if you guys have any doubt in the if statement, uh, please post it in the comment session video. Okay. Thank you all uh, for watching this lecture video.